What is going on everyone? It is Hayden here, and today is Tutorial Tuesday. This week on Tutorial Tuesday, we're talking hashtags. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the importance of actually using hashtags and how to actually create hashtags that are relevant for the business that you're working with or for the business that you own. This is actually really important and I tend to overlook hashtags myself and I feel like a lot of people do right now because they don't seem to be as important as what they once were, but I assure you they are still important. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. A hashtag is something that you can use on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, doesn't matter. And people can actually search up that hashtag and use it to check out other posts that are related to it or they can use the hashtag themselves to post about it. And if you're a business owner, you can actually track what people are saying about your business using hashtags. First, I wanna give you a few reasons why you should be using hashtags. Number one being that you're able to monitor your reputation and what people are saying about your business. It's always good to know what people are saying about your business and using a proper hashtag, you can actually see what people are saying. So let's just say that your business is hashtag Hayden Pedal. Hashtag Hayden Pedal, if people are saying hashtag Hayden P Pedal, thing sucks on Instagram, you want to know that it's a really easy way in order to follow your own business and see what people are saying. Number two is it allows your product or service to speak louder than your competitors. If you can get people using hashtags in a collective area in your small town, whatever it may be, and everyone's using the ha same hashtag, you are gonna stand out compared to other people. People are gonna know your hashtag, they're gonna see it from their friends and their family, and they're gonna know exactly what your business is and what you're all about. Number three, you're able to use hashtags in order to build a community. People are gonna use your hashtag to talk about your business, and they can also follow that hashtag and talk to other people who are using that hashtag themselves. Number four is engagement and guys you have no clue how important engagement is when it comes to algorithms on growth everything engagement is key and if you can get people engaging in your business by using your hashtags you are going to be one step ahead of your competitors. Number five is free promotion. Everybody's always looking to get free promotion. Guys, imagine that you were able to get it completely for free just by people using hashtags in order to talk about your business. If you can get yourself out there and people talking about your business using your hashtag, like I said, you are going to get free promotion. People are gonna to start to know who you are and they're gonna look on that hashtag. If somebody, if one of their best friends uses the hashtag, hashtag, Hayden Pedal, they're gonna be like, why are they using hashtag Hayden Pedal? They're gonna go on there and they're gonna look and see exactly what that is. And they're gonna see what other people are posting about that same hashtag. So now that we know the importance of hashtags, how the hell do we get started using them? First things first is we need to figure out what the hashtag is going to be. So let's just say for an example, keep using my bit myself for today, hashtag Hayden Pedal. That is who I am, that is my business. Obviously, it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense to use that hashtag though. I would maybe use hashtag young entrepreneur to promote it because it's something that can be more generalized. People can use hashtag young entrepreneur. I personally wouldn't use that for my brand though because unfortunately, that is a pretty general hashtag. A lot of people might use that, but it could be good, especially if my YouTube name was still the young entrepreneur and I use hashtag young entrepreneur and everyone was using that hashtag in my community and they could end up bringing me a lot more viewers to my channel. And the better example of this would be something like a restaurant, hashtag Joe's Diner. You wanna use a simple hashtag that is both relevant and creative. For example, let's say Joe's Diner again, we could do hashtag Joe's Diner or hashtag got it at Joe's. You wanna use something that's creative, outgoing, something that's gonna get people to maybe laugh a little bit and want to use the hashtag. Now let's give a few examples of hashtags that big corporations are using. Red Bull, for example, hashtag put a can on it. Coca-Cola, hashtag share Coke. Audi, hashtag I want an R8. And then there's KFC that has National Fried Chicken Day, hashtag National Fried Chicken Day. Now that we've got our hashtag, we know what we're gonna say, how do we get other people to start using our hashtag? Well, the very first way to do that is the most simple way to do it is a contest. If you say, hey, Everybody, if you want to win free fries for a year over here at Joe's Cafe or Joe's whatever I called it before, use the hashtag got it at Joe's and I'm going to go ahead and pick one person who posts on their Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be that use the hashtag got it at Joe's and they're gonna win free fries for a year. Super simple way in order to actually get your hashtag out there, get people talking about it. And also it's a good way to track your own customers and maybe interact with those people who are using that hashtag. Another good way to get people to use a hashtag is by hosting an event. If you happen to be hosting an event, you can use a hashtag to get people talking about that event. 
Uh, you can just do something super simple like hashtag Butter Tart Festival. I've got that going on in our town here coming up soon, so I'm just going to use that for example. People are going to end up using it if you have it posted on banners and stuff around your business or around the event itself. People will end up using it if they start to take pictures and whatnot. They will use it if they see it, but they need to visually see that hashtag and see other people using it, including yourself. And that brings us over to organic or paid posts. If you are posting about your business or a business that you work for, you better be using hashtags and you also better be using the same ones each time, or at least one particular one that you like to use. Let's say again, we've got Joe's Diner, hashtag got it at Joe's, better be in every single post. The reason for this is that it's gonna give your hashtag exposure. When people start looking at your page and they always see hashtag got it at Joe's, next time that they eat there and they start to post about it, they are much more likely to actually use the hashtag that they saw because they saw you posting about it, hashtag got it at Joe's, so they are a lot more likely to use the hashtag got it at Joe's. Oh, and for those of you who are working Working with restaurants or are in the restaurant niche this is a personal favorite of mine if you redo their menus and you just put at the bottom tag us on whatever or use our hashtag got it at Joe's it's a really easy way to get people to use it even if they have custom napkins which some people places do you can put it right on the napkins hashtag got it Joe's whatever if you put it somewhere on the table guys I'm telling you people will use it that's a really good tip for those of you who are doing restaurant niche now that you've got people using your hashtags, one thing I want to point out, guys, is you need to interact with those people. Interaction is key here. If you see people using your hashtags, do not be scared to like that post. Comment on it. Thanks so much for using our hashtag. Hope you enjoyed your meal or your service or your product, whatever it may be. Interact with those people. Check it once a week. That's all you got to do. Check it up once a week. Interact with everybody. See what they're saying about your business. And that brings an end to Tutorial Tuesday today, guys. If you like this video, please do not forget to hit that thumbs up button somewhere down below. If you want to learn more about this type of thing, if you're really interested in growing your business, maybe you have a social media marketing client or maybe it's a consulting client, whatever it may be, I have a full course in the description down below. You can check it out. It'll be the first link in the description that will teach you step-by-step -step things exactly like this to grow a business using social media. So guys, if you'd like to check that out again, the link is going to be in the description down below. Again, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit the bell notification button. That way you get notified every time I do post a video. And if you haven't already done so, you can follow me here. I'm on Instagram. I'm at Hayden Pedal. Don't forget, I also have Facebook. I'm at Hayden Pedal on there. And if you want to get real personal with me, screenshot this guy right here and you can add me up on Snapchat. Again, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you on Thursday.